looking to buy a contemporary family home in Copperleaf Golf Estate, good afternoon. Welcome, this is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today, we are back in this beautiful lifestyle estate together with your favorite tour guide, Victoria from Barack Real Estate, who's gonna take us on a tour of this stunning home behind us. As always, specs on the house. This is a four bedroom, four and a half bathroom, five garage home. Guys, you're gonna love this one, Victoria. Thank you so much, Xavier. Hi, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us here again today. As I always mention, it's always such a privilege to be able to walk you through these beautiful homes. And can I just say, if you like to entertain and have your family around, this most definitely is the home for you. Come on through, Xavier, let's have a look. Coming through into the entrance area, you have these beautiful glass doors that open. Um, I just would like to mention that these uh, doors are PVC and all the windows in the home are, and doors are double glazed, so that's a big win. You come through here and it's so cool to have an opening that looks straight through onto the pool. How cool is that, Xavier? Very nice entrance and it just flows straight through. The flow is so nice, I really can't fault it. And just to have such a beautiful breeze coming through on this day, it's really top notch. Coming up here into the main living area, you have this really cool artsy TV lounge. I think it's so nice how in this home, the separation wall, they've kind of created some shelving in there, just giving it a point of difference in the house, giving it some character, it's really cool. Again, we see in this house that they've got amazing use there, you have an amazing use of bulkheads and lighting, always nice and designating each specific area. Um, Xavier, in this home as well, there is integrated an integrated sound system that runs throughout the house, which is always a nice to have. Very cool. And then coming through here, how cool is this fireplace? What a cool little like artsy designed fireplace. I very really nice. like it. Yes, it's very it, more so like. Very more so like. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when people put things like this in their home really giving it character, really making it their own. It's a really cool touch. Coming out here, we're out onto the outside entertainment area. Again, integrated sound system. You have a beautiful bar here in the corner with this very cool textured um, fascia on the front of it. Ample seating area. Coming up here onto the eating area and bry area. Um, you know, they got a cold bry, ample space, beautiful lighting. And then Xavier, one thing I'd like to mention about this house, A, beautiful different levels to the garden, which I think is very cool. And it's a very big stand, if I may say. Um, you've got a lot of uh, room on this stand, lots of grass, lots of space for your kids, for your animals, if you want to extend possibly. Um, and I'd like to mention the cool roof shape, as we've noticed before on other builds. Um, very different, nice points of difference. This house is also on a green belt, which is always nice and private. Um, these areas are never going to be developed, so it's always a nice to have that you're not completely surrounded by people. I think the owners of this home have put great effort into um, keeping the house quite secluded and quite secure, and that was the reasoning behind the double glazed windows and buying this specific stand um, that they have because it, um, you know, kind of speaks to the privacy aspect of it all. And yeah, you can see your beautiful pool, massive, nice entertainment area, cantilevered um, concrete off the edge here. Very, very pretty, very nice. You know, the house has been well looked after. Um, they've really put their heart and soul into the home and you can really see it as we walk through. Coming through this way, we walk through these amazing big stacker doors and we come into the dining area. Also, ample in size, cool lights, nice bulkheads all around. I like how you can see every part of the house from where you're sitting, yet it's still kind of secluded and designated from each area. So that's a nice change and a point of difference. And then coming through into the kitchen, this is a very cute, well sought out kitchen. I really like it. I like how you have multiple layers and heights to the kitchen as well as breakfast nook area and breakfast nook table. Then we've got your built-in um, electric hub, 
cool, funky extractor fan. Um, over here, you've got your two built-in appliances, stove, microwave, um, whirlpool appliances, your prep sink that looks out onto the garden. And then, yeah, just real like ample space, very open, clean lines, clean living in the, in the kitchen area. It's a very, very nice kitchen, I must say. Gorgeous. Nice and funky. I like how the extractor light keeps changing colors. <laughs> yes, it's playing with my camera as yeah, well. Yeah, is it? <laughs> It's very cool. And then you walk through. I like how all the door frames are these very big architraves, wooden door frames, very cool. And then coming through into the scullery, again, enough for three appliances. They've got it all plumbed in. They've got frosting on the doors. Like it's always nice things to, to take into consideration. Um, as we mentioned, this house has five garages. So there are two out that way past the scullery. Coming back through down this way as we make our way upstairs. I like how this house has different levels to it. Like um, it's, it's very cool and very interesting. Walking past this way, we have a, a wine cooler set up over here underneath the stairs. And then coming up the stairs, uh, we got glass balustrades mixing in with the steel cool um, hanging chandelier and then I really like this like wooden um, paneled wall. I think it's such a cool touch. Very cool. Upstairs in the main area as we walk through to the main bedroom. We've got a huge amount of built-in cabinetry over here as far as storage, linen, etc. Um, is considered. It's always nice to see this in a bigger home because you always find that you lack space for all your linen and everything. You've got a cool um, little patio area here which I think would be so nice to come and sit in the mornings and take in the scenery. Very nice. And the fact that you said the green belt section is, is a big one. I believe the owner said that he bought the property or the stand rather um, way back with the vision of actually having privacy. Exactly, and you know, walking around the house, you can hear how quiet it is and how lovely it is. So to the right hand side here, we have the beautiful walk-in robe, ample space, his and hers, very nice. Um, I like how the dark cabinetry runs throughout the house. And then walking into the bathroom, double vanity, freestanding bath, toilet, and very nice shower. Nice. Yeah, beautiful. As we walk through to the main, um, it's got a little built-in dressing table area here, which is really cute, nicely sized, big open window that you can look out onto, you know, the green belt and your garden and kind of see from the, the main bedroom. I think it's a very, very nice touch. And then I like, this is actually a sliding window, so I think that's very cool as opposed to like your opening windows like that. I think it's a very nice touch. All bedrooms do have, um, fans and as we walk through this way we're going to be taking a look at the other two bedrooms upstairs i like how there's also different level heights um, of the ceiling like we spoke about it from the outside when you have these different shaped roofs from the outside i like it when it kind of runs through the house and into the house uh, walking through here this is the second bedroom with an ensuite bathroom. Look how amazing this bedroom is. I really love how bright it is, how open it is. It's massive, really stunning. What do you think, Xavier? Stunning. I really like the fact, like you said, this is open. Um, and these windows, interesting, we've seen the windows a few times. Look at this, you open them here, you open them there, you open yeah. them there. It's beautiful, very European very Euro type of European. Of, of, you always find that when you, you come into the homes with double glazing and people are using these different things, they definitely have a European influence to them. And then look at that view. How beautiful. Very nice. Something worth mentioning. Mm -hmm. um, the only neighbor you have is pretty much the one here on the left. Yes. And with the double glazing, I believe even if there's a party happening, it remains nice and quiet on this end. So the advantage of living near a green belt definitely coming back through this way off the wraparound patio um, we come up into the third bedroom also has ensuite pretty much a mirror of the last bedroom we were in beautiful ample in size also got fans and nice bathroom with a shower and then just beautiful cabinetry that again like runs all throughout the home i, I do quite like the dark accents throughout the house uh, I really like the shadow lines that they have around in the bedroom and old bulkheads upstairs. It's a very, very cool aspect. And then, coming out this way, this, I always say to people, when you're looking at a home, you always envision your stuff in, in, the, in the home. So this ideally is currently used as an office slash their training, sports, you know, area. 
But you misunderstand that obviously if you moved into your, this home and you had a bunch of children, this is very easily a very beautiful pajama lounge. Um, again, can also be an office. Um, the options are endless really, and it's just a really nice space to work with, you know, with the built-in cabinetry over here, um, making up as a, a bookshelf. It's, it's very cool, very well thought out. The house is very well thought out and very well designed. If anything, it gives enough room to actually separate, make this an extra bedroom and <laughs> have a pyjama lounge it's upstairs. Definitely, it's a very big space, I must say. It's quite, um, yeah, you would definitely have that option. Let's take a, a walk back downstairs. I want to see the outside again and the open plan downstairs is yes. very nice. I mean walking back through here down the stairs you can just see how quiet and secluded it is. I think it is very much off the beaten track um, as far as this estate is concerned and not really like on the front of the road which is really nice. I like that about it and um, you don't have to worry about too much about privacy from that aspect. Walking back through this way we're going to show you um, we're going to quickly take a look at the guest toilet. I like how there's storage in every part of this house. It's very, very cool, very well sought out. Um, we've got a vanity, a urinal, which you don't often see, and then and a, and a toilet in this guest loo. Um, and then back, walking back this way, I'd just like to point out the fourth and fifth garage. Um, so we always like to show these just to give you an uh, idea on space and you can actually see how ample this garage is in size. Really high ceiling um, heights for extra storage and then that's the fifth garage there. Which is currently being used as a golf cart um, garage but or as we all discussed that is big enough to fit a smaller car in. So I wouldn't consider it as a golf cart garage, I'd consider it as a proper car garage. And making our way back through this way we'll just pop into the fourth and final bedroom. Um, this is almost like a flat lit, if I must say, because not only does it have a bedroom to it, it has a little lounge area as well. So this is the little lounge area, which is obviously currently being used as a TV room slash, you know, study room for the kids and so on. And then coming through this way is the bedroom, which is very nice and big and ample in size again. Nice to have somebody, uh, a bedroom on the lower level, maybe for the oldies or something like that, where you can walk straight out into the garden and not having to deal with a lot of stairs. I was just going to say that, if you have in-law... <laughs> yeah, exactly. You never um, want them walking up the stairs. It's always a good advantage to have um, bedrooms downstairs or at least one bedroom downstairs. And then again, beautiful bathroom that, you know, meets all the requirements. Shower, vanity, toilet. Um, real nice to have. And I think this home really has a lot to offer. So if you're interested, I definitely think you should pop by and have a look at it. I don't um, anticipate it being on the market long. Especially for this price. Interesting, we've seen a few of those gems as of late, Victoria. I know, I know. And it's really, um, really presents such a big opportunity for people. Over there, there's a, a gate that leads out onto the green belt. Uh, we were talking to the owner earlier, how they like to take walks and, you know, walk to the clubhouse. The house is um, in close proximity to the clubhouse. It's a two minute walk. So it's a real big advantage. And I just think it's a very cool, pretty, home a lot of character and modern in design and really ticks all the boxes victoria yeah I think that is a perfect summary of what we saw today i just wanted to make sure i show you the rooftop again there you have it awesome 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 very cool any question you have make sure to reach out the agent's details will be below send an email phone number or just hit the comments section and i'll definitely dive in and take care of you there. Guys, as always, thank you so much and have an also awesome afternoon.